Imagine looking at your photos in a calendar view and you can just see your memories scrolling by in chronological order. And you don't have to do anything but click import to get the view to be this way. I'm here today to review Mylio version 24 which has just launched and I'm going to tell you a little bit about the program and some tips to make sure you enjoy using it right from the start. Let's go! Hi, I'm Molly Bartelt. I own Pixology, the photo estate company, and we've been organizing people's print and digital pictures for over 10 years. We have reviewed quite a few photo management programs, and we've tested and used a lot of them over the years. Mylio is one that we always come back to as a favorite because it is so much fun to use the program. I do want to let you know that Pixology is a partner with Mylio and if you click on the links that we provide below, we may receive a small commission. All right, with that out of the way, let me tell you what we're going to cover today. I'm going to give you a quick overview of the Mylio user interface and then I'm going to talk about four essential features any photo management program should have and then I'll touch upon the features that really help Mylio stand out from some of the others and lastly please be sure to stay to this part because it's really important there are three important tips that you need to know before you even install this program on your computer to avoid pitfalls and frustrations that can come up when you have technical difficulties okay I'm gonna give you a tour of the Mylio interface Right now, we are in the All Photos view in Mylio. You can see there's icons kind of all the way around the pictures. I'm going to tell you what's important for now. The view options are great. So we are in the All Photos view, but next we have the Calendar view. And in this view, you get to see your pictures in chronological order. It's so much fun to just see the calendar and see some of your favorite memories right there. The next view is the map view. So for your photos that have the location embedded in them, you will see the locations that you've been. It's kind of fun. And Mylio allows you to add locations as well. Next up is the people view. So here's where you can view your people that you have identified in Mylio. And you can tag your people with the facial recognition feature. Next, we have the albums view. This is a, an extra view in my opinion where you can gather photos together that have something similar in meaning to you. Right now, Mylio pre-populated the albums view with these albums, and I don't use them actually. Unless I have like a special photo book project, um, I might make a slideshow, and then I would have an album for those photos I wanted to use in that project. Mostly, I am in the folders view. I love the folders view because this is the actual folders on your computer, although you'd never go looking for them outside of here. The folders view just tells you so much, like this first one here, the 1970s to 1990s mom's photo albums. These are actual folders for each album that my mom had. And you can see at the top left, there's 31 nested folders and a total of 2,500 plus pictures or movies contained within them. All right, this is great. This is so much better than the File Explorer on a PC or the Finder on a Mac. So those are the, the ways that you can view your photos, okay? There's a couple other icons here that we'll talk about in a bit. And then along the top is where you can add media. You can get notifications. And there's an activity monitor for when you're importing or exporting photos, things like that. And then this icon is your devices icon. And Mylio is great because you can have multiple devices syncing your photo collection. So for instance, right now, I have my photos on my MacBook Pro and they're backing up to my passport, an external hard drive. If I wanted, I could add my PC and Mylio would sync the photos from here to my PC in the Mylios program. 
And it's really awesome to be able to work with pictures on two different operating systems, two different computers. So that device icon's right up there. And then uh, there's you know a help button and these little dots can give you more options. Down the right hand side is more things that you can do with your photos. So if I hover over them, um, you can share, uh, you can edit and tag and all of that. When you actually click on a picture, it opens up and now you have you know the options applying to this picture. So here's the um, edit area and then uh, we'll be talking more about the info, the info to the picture, but um, all of that kind of happens in the right sidebar. That is what I wanted to show you, uh, just a quick overview of the user interface for Mylio. What did you think of the interface? Did you like it? Leave a comment below, I'd love to know. The first essential feature a program must have, in my opinion, is the ability to organize your photos by folders or albums. And Mylio provides you with both options. We're looking at my folders again and that is where I do my organization. I don't use albums in Mylio. I'm going to show you an example here. I have a folder 2012 photos and it just has six images in there. For some reason these six pictures just uh, were left loose over here and they really need to go into my 2010s photos folder. Let me click in there and show you here is the year folder 2012. So I organize by decades, I put my years in the decades, and then sometimes I have my years broken up by months. Anyway, here's the folder that I really want these six pictures in. So Mylio has this wonderful uh, clipboard and you can select the pictures that you want and it looks like I have a funeral in there but there's six pictures here and all I had to do was select them and drag them down and this little tray opens up it's like the clipboard all right and then I navigate over to where I want the pictures to go I want them to go into 2012 photos so I'm going to just drag them up they're all selected yet I'm going to drag them up and drop them in there and I'm going to say yes move all right, so now when I go back, this 2012 photos, it has a picture showing in the folder, but there's actually nothing in it. So I can just hit the, the trash button here on the side and delete it. And now um, I could go to work on 2014 and 2018 because they also have <laughs> folders in my decade of 2010s photos folder. On the right hand side you can add a new folder and uh, that's organization in Mylio pictures. It's really fun to work with it that way. Next up, a program must have the ability to edit the photo's metadata. This is the digital information that's connected with your picture and Mylio allows you to edit the photo's metadata. You can edit the caption, the keywords, and uh, the date taken, which is actually called timestamp now in Mylio. And uh, it's great. Mylio gets the point for being able to add and edit metadata. Next up, essential. The program must have some sort of backup feature and Mylio offers this. I am in my devices and I'm going to click on my passport which would be the backup for my Mylio photos. You can see it's labeled vault and when I click on it I get some information about the passport. I'm going to click on sync policies and just make sure everything looks good. I also will click on device storage. This kind of is a great thing to do to see how much space you have left and kind of monitor it. Mylio definitely allows for backup, not only on an, an external hard drive, but an additional computer if you wanted to do that. The fourth and last essential feature of a photo management program is 
do you like using it? That user interface, so important because you really need to use your program routinely. I gotta love using it so that you can remember the tips and tricks of using the program as well as where you left off, where you wanna start. You've gotta use this routinely. I think Milio's interface is wonderful and I do like using it. So it gets the point for that too. The newest features for Milio involve their dynamic search and it is amazing what you can search by. Check this out. We're in the all photos view and I'm gonna hover over this magnifying glass on the left hand side, dynamic search. When you click this, you can just type in a subject and I'll start off with cat. And just like that, Milio found 86 photos with our cat in it. This is artificial intelligence at work and it's really powerful and fast. I'll just do the same for dog and you can see we have 1600 pictures of dogs over the years. So that's dynamic search. Milio also updated its filtering feature. So now it pops out from the left-hand side and you have all of these ways to filter your pictures. So you can filter by rating. So if I just click five star, I can see the pictures that I have given five stars to. And um, that's really cool. You can also go to smart tag and see uh, what shows up there. I haven't really played with this yet. It seems like I must have to do something in order for these to show up. Let's click on animal. And I mean, a few showed up with animal, but I must be doing something, I must have to do something with that yet. Regardless, this is pretty powerful search and filter features that Milio version 24 has. Another feature of this program is there are many ways to edit the photo, you know, from cropping to the color and all of that. You can see the options here, so that's fantastic. Milio offers two ways to get rid of pictures that are duplicates and similar photos. It's called dedupe and declutter. Click on the tools icon in the left sidebar to get to photo dedupe. Just like that, it produces the results for you. So you can see I have 131 duplicates or sets of duplicates and I can scroll through and check the ones I wanna delete or I could click auto check and it will delete all of them. Now I'm not gonna do that right now. I wanna actually look at what I'm deleting, but you can see that it's identified that these files appear to be exactly the same. That's pretty awesome. Well, let's look at the photo declutter. And again, the results come up pretty fast and you can actually use the slider bar to find more or less um, similar pictures. So that's kind of cool. And then you can go through and, and work on those. Now here I have 1500 photos that are similar. So you can see like uh, my son standing looking away from me and here he's looking towards me. Well, this is something that I would probably work on outside of the photo declutter area, but you can see how powerful of a feature this is, and it's new for Milio 24. And that kind of wraps up the features that I wanted to touch upon. There's more, <laughs> for sure. Let's talk about the three important things you need to know before you ever install it on your computer. First, you need to be sure you're using one email for your account, all right? Because when you install it on your computer, it will ask you for your email. And then if you install it on another computer, you're gonna need that same email. And uh, I, I use two different emails, so I had to work with support in getting that ironed out. It's an advanced program and it does make some system changes to your folder structure. So you wanna be thoughtful about how you install it, okay? The presses, I was just looking over this video one last time before uploading it. And I realized I missed something I do think is important. When you import pictures, Milio has this guided import, which is great. But I'd like to recommend that maybe you import pictures in smaller batches. We had a, a client who imported her whole Apple Photos library. It was huge, huge amount of pictures all at once. And she ran into some technical difficulties and it took a lot of sorting uh, with support to get that figured out. I think you'll have more success if you import in smaller batches. Back to the regular video. The second tip 
before you import anything into Mylio is related to duplicate pictures. Now, Mylio has the dedupe uh, feature, but it can only capture like pictures, all right? Many times people have duplicates that are different sizes and have different inf digital information. So you want to run a duplicate finder that compares pixels outside of Mylio and once that's done, then import your pictures in. The third tip that I highly, highly <laughs> stress is that you need to use this program routinely. You want to keep on top of it. Do not let six months or a year or three years go by and come back. Chances are you're going to have an update, you might need a new computer, and all of those things can throw a monkey wrench into what you've accomplished. Because technology just has that way of, you know, throwing things at you that you weren't expecting. That being said, Mylio has quite a few resources for you on their website. They have a little chat button that you can send a question in. They have a support website and a forum. On the support website, they have an actual product manual, as well as frequently asked questions and articles on a whole bunch of topics. So on the essential features, Mylio gets a four out of four, and that's how we rate photo management programs. If you would like to take advantage of a holiday sale, see the links below. And lastly, if you need help on that duplicate situation and you want to know about how you can get rid of duplicates before importing into Mylio, watch this video next. Thank you so much, and we'll see you the next time.